Ah, you're awake. My very first human captured. I'm so excited to finally see you awake. Your eyes, <laughs> they excite me so much. How round they are. Not narrow like mine's. <laughs> What's wrong, human? Are you scared? <laughs> I can hardly see any reflection in your eyes. They must be so weak. Can you even see in the dark? <laughs> it's okay. My eyes can't see that well at night either. But that's alright. I don't use them that much. <laughs> Not for what I need to do. Hmm. It? Trying to escape. Good luck escaping my coils. <laughs> I'm not even using half of my strength. <laughs> but you might want to slow down. Just a little bit. We wouldn't want to hurt ourselves now. Would we? It's just a little uh, hug, if you say. One given by my tail. And if you try to escape sooner than I'm ready, well, <laughs> I might get too excited. <laughs> so, human, you know your kind aren't supposed to be this deep in the mountains it's not safe but thankfully it was me that found you and not my other brethren you just so happened to come during our mating season we don't act as well as we should but as you feel my tail gripping you <laughs> ever so cozily i wonder if you knew that already the pact we've made with your village is to protect you humans from the other unfriendly creatures Give us your praises and your sacrifices to appease us. The one law that we have is that you don't interfere or intrude in our territory here. And any human that fails to follow those laws by coming into our domain? <laughs> Forfeit their lives to whomever they're captured by. <laughs> Isn't that exciting? So, human, was it worth breaking our law and treaties to know that your life is forfeit? Knowing I could crush you, eat you, or even keep you all to the rest of your life because between the both of us I don't know what I'm going to do with you I've seen other Nagas capture a group of humans a few years back seeing them squirming in their coil seeing them <laughs> loosening and tightening over and over again while the humans moaned on and on and on I can simply remember my sisters giving one traveler a kiss and when the human started to return her kiss my sister's kiss got bigger until it was wrapped around his skull. Ah, 
the way his legs kicked out as she engorged him. A very interesting sight. But I don't know if that's what I want to do to you. See, it greatly offends me, the fact that you can't respect our laws. But honestly, a part of me is impressed that such a tiny human has the courage to travel this far deep in the mountains. So, what fate should I leave for you? Hmm. Let you choose. Well, I honestly didn't know what to decide. See, I already ate just shortly before. Very, very delicious. I won't need to feed for another month or so. In fact, I think I know what I want to do with you. You see, human, I think I want to keep you. Surely you have no later plans coming out of this far. How about I hold on to you? And I can decide later exactly how I plan to indulge my cu- I think I'll do just that. You see, I've always wanted to keep my own human. Seeing as just how weak they are, how short-lived they are, you need a protector, after all. Why else would your village make a pact with my tribe? And if you don't like that, I'm sure my sisters could find other uses for you for a meal or two. But I doubt that would turn out well for you. <laughs> you see, even this far deep, I had been following you since you entered the mountain range. I was wondering when you'd find me, but you didn't really impress me with your less than keener senses. All I had to do was let off just a small hint of my pheromones. With the thin mountain air, you were already out like a light. Isn't that so considerate of me? Making sure that I didn't harm you. <laughs> but I wonder, what if you try to escape? Hmm? I don't know if I can trust you to behave. I could easily crush your legs. That would keep you from running for quite some time. I could hide you away in my lair, a nice warm cave further up the mountain, away from my sisters. And if you tried to cry for help, <laughs> whose ears do you think will hear you first. Another human? Or one of my kind? <laughs> so, if you behave, 
I might consider letting you roam free in the cave and taking care of you. After all, you are my first human. <laughs> 